So guys, this year is the year where everything magical happens. Not only are we getting the new Model Y, the Model 2, and the rollout of CyberCab, we are also going to be getting a major upgrade to older vehicles, something that we thought was never going to come. The ultimate goal here is for Tesla to have their entire fleet of vehicles running on the RoboTaxi service and with now millions of vehicles no longer capable of doing so because of the outdated hardware, they have their hands tied and working on the next big upgrade to get all this to work. In the latest quarterly earnings call, Elon highlighted Tesla's focus on expanding its capabilities in autonomous driving, new vehicle production, and robotics. Plans for new vehicles include the more affordable model, are on track for startup production in the first half of this year. These vehicles will use aspects of both the next generation and the current platform, allowing production on its existing manufacturing lines, and vehicles produced moving forward will leverage the best capabilities of the Cybertruck, such as steer-by-wire and the 800-volt architecture, while retaining similar form factor to the Model 3 and Ys. Then on to the autonomy side, Tesla aims to unlock unsupervised full self-driving option in late 2025 as they plan to begin launching their robotaxi business by June of this year, starting with Austin, Texas and California and eventually to the rest of the United States. Now, with that being said and skipping across all the major points with Optimus, Mega Packs, Energy Storage and the future roadmaps, and focusing purely on the mass retail production Model 3s and Ys, we are going to be seeing a massive upgrade in terms of what they are planning to do with the hardware suite to get it running on the latest full self-driving software. Relating to the topic of RoboTaxi, by later this year, we are expecting the rollout of unsupervised full self-driving for vehicles with the compatible hardware. This means only vehicles sold in the past two years equipped with hardware for computer and the enhanced sensors will be capable of running the autonomous driving software and eligible for the RoboTaxi ride hailing service. Any vehicles produced before the hardware upgrade would not be eligible for the service. Moreover, they cannot run the latest full self-driving unsupervised software, meaning that they are incapable of operating autonomously even with a driver in the seat. This had led to many frustrated owners with full self-driving reaching a peak price of $15,000 a few years back. Many owners are feeling regretful and disappointed as their cars are no longer receiving the latest software updates. Some are choosing to trade in their vehicles for newer models, while others are now left holding onto their cars, hoping that full self-driving will eventually be added as promised. But now, over the last few weeks, with the latest software updates rolling out and the disparity between full self-driving version 12.6 versus version 13, many have come to realize that this is probably the end of the line for Hardware 3. They have accepted that their car is no longer going to be running the latest full self-driving versions and they have accepted the fact that their car will never be truly autonomous. However, to our surprise, Elon has just shared some excellent news during their earnings call about a potential upgrade that is likely coming down later this year. During their Q&A portion of the call, a question was asked regarding older vehicles and its future software support, and Elon communicated that hardware 3 equipped vehicles will need to be upgraded to support unsupervised driving capabilities. His exact words were, the honest answer here is we are going to have to upgrade people's hardware 3 computer for those who bought full self-driving and that is going to be painful and difficult but we'll get it done. And then he follows up with, now I'm kind of glad that not many people bought the full self-driving package. So there we are, this is the official confirmation and this gives us a ton more confidence than what Elon has typically would try to post on X. Not only does he believe that there is going to be a path for Hardware 3, but now the entire Tesla team also knows so and they hopefully will act accordingly. What this means now for you and I is that Tesla is adamant on the fact that Hardware 3 and older vehicles are going to be added to the RoboTaxi fleet and they are going to do whatever is possible to get this rolling out. And what it also means is that for any future upgrades, even us with hardware for vehicles right now, if it ever becomes outdated and it cannot provide the same performance as newer chips, they will eventually do what's right just as they intend to do with hardware 3 and upgrade us to the very best 
to get us on the most safe and reliable vehicle that it has ever come to be. Now, it doesn't end there, and you wouldn't believe this, but Tesla has already been working and is currently producing newer boards, something that is going to replace hardware 3 and hardware 4. All of that is already going into newer vehicles as we speak, and this is going to be the path forward in what's to happen with older models. Preparing for what is inevitably going to be full self-driving computer retrofit, they have already designed and completed a new board that is more powerful and opens up a port for additional cameras. Recently discovered and shared by a user on X that goes by Green the Only, he came across a Model Y with hardware 4 computer that's unlike anything he's ever seen before. He clarifies that this is not from the new Model Y Juniper refresh as it does not have the second screen connector for the rear display. Simply, this is just the most updated version of the old Model Y. However, it comes with many distinct upgrades hinting that this is going to be the future retrofit computer going into the other models. Aside from the internal changes like the addition of cell modem on board and backwards compatibility with USB 3 replacing USB-C on the newer vehicles, this new computer is now labeled Model Y Reloaded where it was previously just Model Y and according to other markings on the board, this appears to be a service replacement unit. Overall, it seems like Tesla is preparing to replace the old hardware 4 with a new version, potentially adding a bumper camera in the process. This could be part of their strategy to retrofit as many vehicles as they can in preparation for unsupervised self-driving. Now on another note, Tesla has begun their initial test of unsupervised full self-driving on their Fremont factory grounds. In their latest post, Tesla shared a video showcasing new vehicles rolling off the production line and completing a fully autonomous 1.2 mile route. Tesla vehicles can now drive themselves from the factory floors to their designated loading dock lanes without any human intervention. And when asked about the camera calibration process, which previously required a considerable number of miles before becoming fully functional, Tesla's AI chief Ashok stated that camera calibration is now no longer a thing it is now completed directly on the factory floors. And adding to this, Tesla's engineer Omed emphasized, it's important to note that every Tesla we build on our factory floors today is capable of this. And Elon shares his excitement on X, saying that unsupervised full soft driving begins. So there we have it. If this doesn't get you drooling, I don't know what else does. Model Y refresh is just about here. RoboTaxi service launch is on the horizon and now there's an upgrade path for older vehicles to get on to the latest full soft driving software. So this is indeed the most exciting year for production, for autonomy, and for AI overall. I don't know what else to say other than the fact that I am super excited for what's to come in 2025 and with the $25,000 Model Q, Model 2 coming out in Q2 of this year, this is the most mind-blowing thing that's ever come in any company that's in existence today. For those of you guys that are on the verge of upgrading to a newer model because you feel left behind, honestly, there is no incentive now as your vehicle can and will be upgraded to the latest hardware. And that at that point, you can get the latest full self-driving software and your car can act as a robo-taxi. Now, to conclude everything, I would say the best part about this is for the millions of yous out there that are planning to upgrade to the latest model because you felt left behind, now there's no more worries as you know and you got the confirmation that they are working on a software retrofit and a hardware retrofit to get your vehicles onto the latest unsupervised software this means that your vehicle can eventually become a robo taxi and be added onto the fleet. There is no more contemplating whether this is worth it now to let go or to just keep it and use it as a spare vehicle making you money. Anyways, with all the exciting news coming up, I'm sure there's going to be a ton more to share in the next few days leading up to the end of the year. I will be keeping a close eye on everything that comes out. So if you guys want the latest, make sure you stick around. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because I know the majority of you guys haven't. And follow me over on X at HeyJohnE. Over there, you guys will see things you wouldn't see over here. But anyways, this should be it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John. Once again, peace out.